Okay, so welcome. <laughs> it's very nice to um, see everybody. I'll just, oh, my camera. Hang on. No. Oh. Let's... That'll do. That'll look perfect. That'll have to do. Okay, so sink the hips. Uh, oh, what you want to do is you want to get the first third of the foot and then sink the hips back and down. Just breathing in and out. I'll, I'll move this one for the, the, the Tai Chi fitness because we'll need some more room for that. But for now, this is fine. And just stand and breathe. So what you want to do is just stand in a good wuchi stance and breathe. Oh, you can't really see my feet. Hang on, let me take off my shoes. And then, yeah, easier to see with the feet, isn't it? Okay. Um, I'll just... Um, oh. So if you just stand, I'll just see how's your standing doing. Yeah, so you want to relax the shoulders, relax both shoulders and sink your hips when you're standing. I'll just do that so you see my disembodied body. <laughs> There's no head and no legs. But you want to you wanna stand as correctly as you can. Move that along there. Move that along there. Move it up a little bit. I like this is a I, I spent some money on this camera, but it's still not quite. Yeah. Um, Mark, the head honcho, um, <clears throat> he he said there's a very good camera. I'm going to be ordering one of those. So hopefully that will sort out the picture issue. But this will do for now. So we're just breathing in and out. So your last Friday's class is up there on um uh on the uh youtube channel like and subscribe <laughs> tell all your friends <laughs> so uh yeah nice and tall relax around the jaw relax the face head floating up and what we'll do we'll just tune into the feet so we do the rocking forwards and back Rocking forwards and back. So you're, you're listening to your body. Nice and relaxed. Soften the wrists, soften the uh, palms of the hands and the fingers. Just tune into your hands as you're going forwards and back. Relax the elbow and the shoulder. Notice your breathing. Very good. <clears throat> Sink down. Just allow your weight to settle just behind the ball of each foot and we're just going to go. Yeah, there's been there's been some very strange glitches on Zoom. So uh, I I don't mind if the picture glitches in and out uh, of yourselves, but you might find it a bit disconcerting, in which case what you do is you switch off the picture and then you just watch me. But then it means you can't see what you're doing. I don't know. I hopefully Zoom will sort it out. I will. Um, Sometimes when they have an update, it doesn't quite work. So I will write to them, but they probably already know about the glitch issue. <laughs> it's very strange. So, but never mind. We can, we can. Uh... 
Yeah, my, my picture was doing that too when I was in Eva's class. I was it was doing funny things. And we're all breathing. So when you're when you're doing the um transferring of the weight. Really tune into the feet. Really good. So I've got a nice uh, carpet underneath my feet, and I can really feel the sensation. It's quite an interesting sensation because normally I'm 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 in the garden or um, on, on a, a, a woodland floor or something, and and it's quite interesting. So you want to experiment when you're practicing this at home. Subtle hint: when you're practicing this at home, you want to you know try out some different. Uh, textures uh, that you can place your feet on. <clears throat> so you've got all these really useful sensory receptors in your feet, but up to 200,000, Google it, sensory receptors feet, and you will be amazed by the hundreds of thousands of these things. <laughs> So it's a very good way of um, um, getting information to your brain about what terrain you're on, balance, and all sorts of things. So it's worth paying attention to the feet. So you want to sink. So what my, my New Year's resolution is to really sink my hips this year so I'm, I'm just working on it uh working on sinking the hips when I when I remember when I get a moment you know I might be I might be in the queue for the post office I sink the hips <laughs> um so uh for those of you watching either now or later uh, that have got experience in Tai Chi that have been training for more than maybe two or three years. Um, Mike, the head honcho of the school, he's um, he's going to be teaching on a, a Wednesday evening, like um, um, it was for the advanced class, but he's making it improvers again. And... Um, it's for people who want to practice applications and push hands because actually doing the push hands is a really good way of helping you discover your root and sinking the hips. Because if your hips are sunk and you've got proper root, it's more harder uh, for you to get pushed over. And... Um, even if you don't go full, like we don't do competitions or nothing like that. Or uh, one, one of my friends, they do Tai Chi and they, they go full out practicing sparring. And I'm not really interested, but but applications and push hands, that's about as far as my limit. Um, that I'm happy to do. So I don't necessarily want to go out and fight with it, but it's worth finding to really improve your balance it's quite good to do some of the partner work exercises um, if you really want to get it. This is good too, though. So we just sink. You want to relax. You want to relax. You want to arrive in your feet. Notice the feet. Notice the feet. So we're going 60, 40, 60, 40. That was beautiful. We did forward and back, didn't we? So just tune into the feet again. And oh, the other thing is I gently drawing the toes in and then by gently drawing the toes in softly, you activate the arches of the foot. So that they're, they're like they act like springs. And we're just going to we're just going to do that. Tuck the chin in. <clears throat> I'll have to go open the window. I, 
I've kind of got used to being outdoors on a Friday, so I'm going to. Yeah, it's quite cool. I might, I might see how I feel about the. Um, I'll be, I'll be indoors today. So again, sink the hip. So it's it's a bit like um, in boxing practice. We we always have a thing called a guard. We have a guard. And um, some people actually have a low guard, actually. I would, I've been watching, I've been following um, boxing quite uh, mature in age. I would terrify <laughs> a very, very good boxing coach on a TikTok because I quite like watching the, the martial art people on, on the TikTok. And uh, he, he had a low guard. But the thing is, he has a guard. And, and you're sinking the hips and rooting that's like the equivalent it's something that you continuously have to make sure you're you're doing um and you're cultivating this kind of very soft light observer that's watching what's observing what you're doing but you don't want to get too focused in any one but it's more like um like a motion detector like when when you've got lights that um like a lot of a lot of loos and things these days they have a motion detector light so you go in and use a little light switches on and then if you start reading a book quietly you know, if you before you wash your hands or whatever, and you stay very still, then it all switches off. So this is a bit like you're you're getting a motion detector, I guess. So check your feet. So you you might need to adjust your feet as you're <clears throat> really. as you're doing this exercise and, and observing at the same time as doing. Have the head float up, that's nice. Relax the shoulders more. So when you're doing something like this, it's relatively straightforward. You can then use this as an opportunity to really look at your vertical alignment, that you're calming the mind. You want a nice calm mind like a very still lake or pond or something. It's very, very still, so it's very clear. So by, by clearing the mind, I think maybe what they're possibly talking about is that you've got a very clear outlook. It doesn't mean it's empty of stuff. You've just got to... So clear the mind and soften, soften the muscles and root. So you sink the hips, you're breathing, upright spine. Feel the ground on your feet and now we're going the other direction. I'm trying to remember what I did last week. Um, I think I did lots of standing, actually. I was looking at standing, so. But, um, hmm. So yeah, one direction feels different. One, one direction will feel more natural than the other, that's that's fine. You just notice things. You just want to notice, notice what you're sensing. Notice what you're sensing. <clears throat> and really focus. So focus your attention, but again, you're not, it's not a hard focus, it's soft. It's soft, but it's clear 
and it's consistent. So you want to try and keep your focus, your focus of intent consistent. Sink. Okay. We'll do figure eight. So you go from the heel to the big toe, to the heel, to the big toe. Good. So you end up Actually, I'm going to turn around. Uh, hang on, just shake out, actually. Yeah, shake out a bit. We'll come back to the figure eight, because this is... It looks really nothing, but it really murders your legs. So let's have a little break while I open... Uh, opening the window break. I'd like to stay in this room. It's wonderful. I love all the teddies. It's just so nice. Um, oh, it's still raining outside. I did write coming here. I just opened the window. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's not. It's, it is definitely raining. I'd have. I'd have been. Um, I have taught. Um, yeah. I have taught on Zoom in the lockdown. Uh, because where I was staying, uh, my room's too small to teach in, so I was having to teach in my back doorstep, and. Uh, I've taught in the rain maybe twice, and oh, it wasn't <laughs> it wasn't much fun. So it's it's nice to be able to teach indoors when it's raining. It's just, uh, mm. So let's just tune into our bodies. We'll, we'll come back to that in a minute. Let's do Eva's wiggle exercise. We did a wiggle. So you want to? Yeah, that's nice. So you want to feel the, the connection. Feel the connection when you're wiggling and and we'll we'll have a look at the loosening exercises I think in um and then just to explore things I quite like to look at the wave hands like clouds but you need to understand how to move I'll just show you the wiggle from the side wiggle from the side like this this is what it's like from the back so I'm just very good. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, so um, uh, I will do bounce and shake. We'll do bounce and shake, and we'll come back to the figure eight because again, with the bounce and with the shake, you can actually really tune into your feet. So what what you wanna what you wanna do? Um, <clears throat> Pay attention and focus foot contact. You really want to be aware of your foot contact. Like, um, so, so what will happen when you're learning a move? Um, it's almost like you do it too much and too loud, and then you, you reduce the volume. So when you're practicing foot contact, you want to really feet, 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 feet. And then once you get the sense of what the connection between your feet and the ground feels like, you can then lighten off your focus a bit and make it a bit lighter. But it's really important to get your um, um, the awareness of contact with the feet. I think I, I, the more I've been, I, I'm, I'm coming up, uh, I started assisting um yeah let's bounce while i waffle sorry about this um i started assisting in tai chi classes from about september 2003 so i'm coming up for my 20 year anniversary and then i started teaching i think from like january or something 2004 so I'm um, from, yeah, from January uh, 2024, and I've been teaching 20 years. Gosh, <laughs> so it's quite scary. Um, and we're just nice and relaxed, nice and relaxed. We're bouncing, we're bouncing. So with the bounce, you want to connect your whole body. I mean, I'm keeping the, so I'll come a bit closer, come a bit closer, look. So if you look at the, look, so I'm just, 
up and down, and my my hands are, are loose, but they're not flippy floppying. They, I'm I'm keeping the connection from the shoulder to the the fingers, and not open hands, and then hips sink back and down, and I'm going up and down. Show from the diagonal. But I've got a solid clip. I'm, I'm in my balance point of the feet, in my balance point. So this isn't warm up. This isn't warm up. We're practicing principles of movement all the time, whatever we're doing. With a, it's nice to do the Tai Chi form, and they're all very lovely, but actually, you want to get strong movement principles and alignment and posture principles get them really firmly clear and strong so then when you do do the form do go onto the form and do things like the push hands or, or sparring or whatever you've got this very it's it's uh, more about practicing the principle of the thing than any specific technique. So everything is Tai Chi, really. Um, I, I had this discussion with Corel. And basically it's all the same stuff. <laughs> it's all the same. And it's all about getting the, getting the principle of structure, getting the principle of movement, uh, getting the softness. The softness, uh, Outside the softness of cotton, inside the temper of steel. So getting the softness with the connection and the firmness all at the same time. So, and that, so try it, try it bigger. Going, going, going. Then make it smaller and faster. Dun, 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 dun. Like a pneumatic drill, boom, 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 boom. You know, when you see them on the road, bang, 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 like that. It's that kind of thing. Except we're not jumping, we're attached to the ground. So notice how, so relax, but feel the connection through the whole body. Yeah. <clears throat> and keep going. There we go. Okay, now we swap to shake. So you're shaking. So you imagine a, um, the best example of this movement I have seen was when I, I was out walking in Wiccan Fen. So if you look, I'm not going up and down. I'm not going up and down. I'm going, look, this is it slowly. I'm doing this. Shake, 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 shake. But I'm shaking. Um, I'll see if I can leave. Ah. Okay. My feet go forwards and back. Forwards and back. I'm feeling it in my legs. It's mainly in the waist. And the, the best example of this I saw, uh, I was having a very nice walk. Uh, in Wiccan Fen, um, near Bowell, and it was beautiful. It was a bit, you know, very nice. You've got the reeds, you've got the the, uh, uh, the the river, and then I was having a very nice time. The birds singing, you know, it's beautiful. And then this lovely yellow golden retriever, it emerged out of the water bounded over to me in a very jolly manner and then went <laughs> I got completely sprayed with kind of wet doggy water <laughs> and then he put his paws on me and stuff but it was this <laughs> so it's that you want to you want to imagine that happening a dog coming out of the water and shaking and 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 then you kind of try and you do the same so very connected and it just sprayed out it was actually it was looked a little bit like um a puff 
almost like a puff ball in, in places. A very interesting, really good, really good Tai Chi. And uh, yeah. So look, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. It's, it's a fast version. It's a fast and contained version of this one, except you keep the arms relatively still and it's more internal. So try and get that. Try it one da 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 and the fingers. I'm keeping my fingers down. Yeah, no up and down. It's just but fast. Like that. So no up and down. So try and avoid up and down. I mean, obviously, you've got to start somewhere and it's gonna take a time but you've got to get um especially the advanced more advanced people watching this you need to understand what you're looking at and make make the movement so we just do that this is actually very good. It, it's very good for toning. Have a have a stop. Have a stop and a shake out. It when I did this with Eva, we did bounce and we did shake for like ages, probably best part of half an hour, maybe even longer. And when we stopped, I could feel my stomach muscles felt nice and quite uh, toned. My back felt stronger, and it was it was very interesting. So. Um, yeah, so when 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 the teacher gives you directions to do something, you might not be able to do them straight away, but it's not um but from the intention with practice it will it'll improve. Yeah, stop whinging. Sorry, Amy, get on with it. No, come on. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You just whatever the um it is first thing it's not first thing in the morning first thing in the morning is six actually so that's three hours later and focus however tired you're feeling however not awake you are we're practicing focus and we're practicing being undistracted undistracted you want to be focused you want to have your focus of attention and you just want to get on with it whatever's going on whatever's going on if it's not to do with the exercise decide that it is largely irrelevant it's about maintaining your focus of attention and just doing the exercise however it is and uh, you just get on with it. So you can be aware of your environmental situation and how you're feeling, but it's got to not border into an excuse. So let's go back. Yeah. And... Or I'm not doing this because it's early. I'm not doing this because I can't concentrate. I'm not able, blah, 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 completely irrelevant. Get on with it. Very good. <laughs> it's like, it's, it's, a, it's about reality and dealing with reality and that reality changes sometimes. So what we're doing is we're doing this exercise and we're noticing our breathing. And great. And every single class is a whinge free zone. Because that's another distraction. You can whinge after, it's fine. You can go and have a cup of tea and moan at your horrible teacher. But while you're in this space, we get on with it. <laughs> and let nothing distract us from what we're doing, nothing. 
It's this, uh, he was working on that on Wednesday. Come on, get on with it. Stop wasting time sending me notes. Keep going. Fantastic, okay. Right, where we are, oh, figure eight. That's not, so it, should, it feels quite good. If you practice the bounce and shake and you do it every day, and it, it's really useful for the loosening, it's really good for your waist tone, it's really good for tuning into your body. Yeah, actually, let's do that one. We'll, we'll do the figure eight. Like, listen, how does that, isn't that weird? It's really loosened up now, hasn't it, huh? Very good. Keep going. Keep breathing and pay attention and notice what you're doing. I'll just show you that from the side. So we've got our really good posture, really good alignment. So. So yeah. Um, it kind of, doing Tai Chi, it kind of reminds me, I, I've got a very, I really like this composer, Arvo Pet, one of my uh, music knowledgeable friends. They they played me lots of different music and stuff. And, and this composer, Arvo Pet, there's a sense of presence in, in the music he makes. Uh, and he's got an amazing beard. There's a sense of presence and there's a sense of consistency. And it, it kind of reminds me, it reminds me of Tai Chi. <laughs> It's sort of, it's very soft and it's very uh, nice music, but it's very nice music, but it's also, there's this kind of power in it. And I, I kind of wonder if maybe he did a bit of Tai Chi, I don't know, maybe, maybe one of the, or if he didn't, He'd be very good at it if you took it up. <laughs> so you want to keep your weight up with the knees. Yeah, let's have a little shake. Out. Have some water if you need some. Yeah. No, I'm serious, actually. Serious. This is serious. Focus on what you're doing and don't let anything distract you. It's a really useful transferable skill. So you want your knees in line with the toes. Knees in line with the toes. You're sinking your hips. You've got good posture, good alignment. Chin tucked in and we're, we're doing this. So you want to cultivate not um, avoiding fidgeting or reducing your fidgets to just doing the movement. I mean, you know, everyone's got to start somewhere. And but there's always room for improvement. So I, I was messing up on Wednesday because my knees were moving for some reason because I wasn't paying, wasn't fully focused in what I was doing. But once you focus, it's much easier to get it right. It's much and we're breathing, just get that lovely oxygen. Oxygen is a really good thing. <laughs> yeah. But it's. That's it. So we're just turning, turning, turning. Oh, that's really lovely. That's really lovely. So we'll be using this. Um, we're going to have a little look at the wave hands like clouds. Oh, breathing, 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 breathing. Oh, fantastic. Very nice. So, and just, okay, tune into your shoulders now and just free up that shoulder joint. Free up the shoulder joint, that's it. We won't spend, we'll just maybe do one or two of the loosening exercises actually, because otherwise we'll be here all day. Doing very little, fantastic. Okay. And then. So feel the ground, turn the waist. Turn the way. That's it. So get. So you want to get get yourself. It's like if you put a post in the ground. You want to keep the post there. Stay there, and do the movement. Very good. Relax the shoulders more. Sink the hips more. Chin tucked in. Soft focus gaze.
marvellous. Okay, and then we, ah, oh, hey, <laughs> we did something different, finally. <laughs> yeah, that's it. So open. So you want this bit, this bit, look, it's a straight wrist. Very good. So we're straightening our wrist, we're opening the hands. So you don't want too many bends in there. That's too bendy. You want a straight wrist. That's it. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. uh, we've done bounce and shake. So let's just. We won't do too many of these because I want to do some. Um... So look, I'm going to here, going to here, going to here. We're just practice into there. So we're going to here, going to here, here. Yeah, cut that out, you want to relax. You're going to here every single time. Then you go down. Yeah. That's it. Every time going to here. So when, what you want to cultivate is looking at something and copying that. So remember, we're going slight curve, slight curve, slight curve. But you want to correct softly. You want to correct softly. So if you if you miss, you want to correct softly every time. Get it? Practice correcting yourself, and then eventually it will stick. Keep doing it. That's it. That's better. That's better. So you're only only missing a few now. Okay, now. You want to turn the palms up and again, not too bent. It's like a, a slightly like this shape. So if you go to this, sink down. That's it. Straight wrist. Breathing in that. And if you get it wrong, it doesn't mean, oh, I'm a terrible human being. It's just, you know, you've just not got it yet. Okay, big deal. So you relax and you do it again. <laughs> And then you relax and you do it again. And then we want to feel that. So you're, you're aiming to get to that sense, that sensation. So you're using your senses to get that. That's it. More like that. That's it. Very good. There we are. Yeah. So notice what you're looking at. Fantastic, that's better. So you want to get to this point. So if you're watching this on the video afterwards, we're going to here, that's different. That's too much, it's to here, it's a curve. It's a curve, you want a gentle curve. Okay, and then we'll go to that one. Yeah, that's... So it's about paying attention, pay attention. Now, this one, you want to pay attention to your alignment between the knee and the toes, knee and the toes. We're all breathing. Oh, nice and relaxed. Fabulous. And again, I'm going to this point. Just for this year, I'm going to here. I know in previous years I was a bit more flippy floppy, but Mike said, try it this way. And I've not done it enough to, I've not worked out what he was trying to do. So this is what we're doing. You get like so I'm keeping there's a there's a sense of firmness in the arms and a gentle curve. Keep breathing, keep breathing, keep breathing. That's it. Yeah. But feel the ground, feel the feet. Fantastic. Okay, we just do that. Just keep, oh, what a relief. This one I really like because it's easy, isn't it? It's like <laughs> just show you that. You just oh. And we're all breathing very nice. Oh. Nice, very nice. Well, that's brilliant, both of you, fantastic. Very good. Hooray, we got one. <laughs> we got one. Okay, four, three. Two, one, and then now uh, this one. Before we do it, I just have a come. I'll oh, come a bit close. Nice long arms. Uh, awareness, right to the fit. There's the fingertips. 
that's where the awareness is and nice and long and then I'm just doing this just start very small I'll show from the diagonal oh that's weird it looks like I haven't got a head or any legs that's <laughs> very strange so we go like this and we sink down Uh, and the other thing, imagine you're in water. Imagine you're in water. So you want to keep the length of the arm. And then we've got bounce going on. Bounce, bounce. And the knees are kind of doing this. This is, this is now a knee. There's a, these are imaginary knees. Forward and back, forward and back, forward and back. But not, not as much as that. So there's a little bit of forward and back. And the hips are like that. And the shoulders are doing that. But overall, it builds up into this kind of thing. So you can go faster, actually, and it becomes more like becomes more like shake, actually. So it's like a very slow version of shake. So this is very good for your posture. So I think about lovely, yeah, beautiful, really good posture, everyone. And you're, you're all settling in what you're doing. So that's very good. It's very good. So if you can really focus, it's very useful, really useful. So um, oh, that Robin's singing again outside. Change the thing to original sound because then you get, you might be able to hear the Robin what's outside. It's singing a bit sometimes. It's Oh, it's just stopped. Um, uh, okay, four, three, two, one, and ah. Breathing, breathing, breathing. Oh, what a relief. Well, oh, that's so nice, isn't it? So. Okay, shake out. Let's take up. Oh my goodness me. If you need, um, actually, we'll do this one. You go like that. Like you're wiping your feet. Six. This is a new one. Eight, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. That's a new one. And then you can um, go forward and up. One, two. So this is this is a good stretch for the lower back. You point your foot, you bring it up. You put it foot down, you point the foot, you bring it up. You point the foot, you bring it up, yeah. Seven and eight. Fantastic. Okay. Have another little wiggle. Have another little great. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, let's do a bit of open close and then we'll, um, just a little bit. So we'll do the big word. You come forward, you open, come back close. So we're just nice and, it's quite nice to move. <laughs> and we're going to do, oh, that's not in it. I scratched my nose, but <laughs> it's weird, isn't it? Itchy noses. Like, how is that? I don't even understand why that happens, but it's very strange. But I guess your body's constantly wanting to do things, I suppose. It could be that. So notice what you are sensing. Oh, that's lovely. One more. Beautiful. Okay, well, we'll look at open close properly another time. Now, this time we come around like this. Hold the ball. So, if I come closer... You want to relax your thumbs, so very relaxed thumbs, round shape in the arms, 
they're quite forward. So imagine you've got a big beach ball and you're holding the beach ball against your... Yeah, the balloon is too small. That would be too small. Yeah, it's too small. I mean, maybe for between my hands, it's, that's okay. You've got the balloon and you're nice and relaxed, actually. That, that, now, that works because then you've got something visual. So there's about a balloon gap between your, your fingers. Maybe a little bit more. Okay, ditch the balloon. And then you're sinking. So you imagine you've got a, a balloon between your hands. Imagine you've got a ginormous balloon under each elbow, holding up the elbow. You've got a balloon here and you're holding the balloon. And you're sitting on a big balloon. So that there was the balloon thing. And you've got a small balloon behind each knee and a, a bigger balloon between the knees. And maybe teeny tiny balloons underneath your arches of your foot. So you've got if that helps, if that doesn't help, forget all the balloons. So now what we're gonna do is you breathe in and out. You sink down, so you want to get your roots sink. So I personally find standing tricky because I naturally, I think my natural setup is to move around lots. And but with practice, I have now, I can now appreciate being still and it feels quite good it's it feels almost it feels differently good to the feeling I get when I move about so it is worth if there's something you're not so hot at it's good to practice anyway because it's like a muscle that just gets bigger but compared to people who've been doing standing for the amount of years I've been doing it I'm rubbish <laughs> <laughs> but that's okay but it's about you know improving it's about getting better than what you started for yourself personally and not worrying about oh well that guy can stand still like a rock for like five hours yeah big deal if you can stand still like a rock well for five minutes that's fantastic so now what we do is we just transfer the weight now we transfer the weight but keep that. This is a very good... Yeah, if you need to put your hands down and pick it up again and try again, that's fine. You want to relax your shoulders. Relax your shoulders. I've been doing this a while, so I've built up a certain... Structural alignment and softening will make it very easy to do, and you can hold it for, like, ten minutes. And... Okay, now what we do... Transfer... Turn. So we're doing the outside turn. Outside turn, everybody. There's two ways of doing this. The one I did with Master Chung was an inside turn. So you can turn both ways. Inside turn is the one we use for cloud hands. But I just wanted you to practice both. Because you can go in both directions. That's it. I'll show from the back. And we're sinking, sinking. So um, it can sometimes be useful to make a big stance and do that. If that's too much, then go back to the the. And you watch your. That's it. But I'm 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 doing. When I did it with Mark, we did it in a big stance. But when I've done it with Master Chung, it's actually quite upright. But you want to sink your hips. Sink your hips back and down, that's it. Marvellous. Okay. Into wave hands like that. Oh, finally. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Feel your feet. Calm the mind. Breathe naturally. So natural breathing. Light, soft arms. So we're turning to the corner. So align yourself to the corner. And then when you turn, maybe slightly more than the corner. There we go. There we go. Oh, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Look at that. We are looking good. See, it was worth doing all that character building stuff beforehand, wasn't it? 
Good. It's very character building Tai Chi. <laughs> Learning Tai Chi, that's it. So, nice round shape, round shape, like a wheel, like a wheel. That's it. And oh, sink the shoulders more and sink the hips more. Now, get it right, Farrah. Oh, that's it. <laughs> so. oh, and the other thing, if I come too closer to the camera, look at the angle of my elbow and my wrist. Wrist in line with the shoulders, elbow down. So it's got a slight slope to it. If I just do this bit and you turn, turn, and go, oh. Open the palms of the hands. Very good, very good. So the other trick is to connect the rotation of the arms with the turning of the waist. So you can you can do a little bit of a, like the record's got stuck. Two, three, four, and then do that. And then we go one, two, three, four. So you can, you can kinda, Just have a little exploration, but you want to connect it. See, your body's connected. Connect the body. Marvellous. So just give that a bash. You can you can do some. That's it. Oh, sorry, my feet have, uh, are out of shot. Let's put them in shot. Oh. Okay, and then the side step. Then I've run out of room. I've got room to do three. I might have to move. And then you can actually you can just do this, and then when it feels right, that's when you move your foot, transfer the weight. So this is another one. Um, it's about getting used to moving the waist, turning, uh, moving the feet, and staying relaxed. Actually, it's better if I do it from the sideways. Yeah, that's better. I've got more room. I've got more room in this direction. So I'm not doing it in any particular way. I'm just waiting till my body wants me to move the leg, and it. It's an experimentation rather than anything too definite. We're trying out some things. So then when you do, wave hands like clouds with the walking, um, I do from the diagonal. Uh, we could go for a little walk. You know, you might be on your way to the shops and you think, oh, I know, I can do some daily life training. So, uh, Master Tang in uh, Hong Kong, he does a thing called daily life training in daily life where you'll just randomly do <laughs> Tai Chi moves, like up the escalators or, you know, in the lift or... He, he even had... I think he was joking, but he even had how to sit on toilet. <laughs> I was like, yeah, how to walk to work. <laughs> it's like, yeah, you walk like this. So you might be on your way, yeah, you might be going to the post office. I'm just going to the post office, mum. <laughs> right, and then you want to come back from the post office <laughs> like this. You'll be an expert. I mean, if you did this, if you walked every day like this, you would be absolutely brilliant. You'd have great balance. You'd be really good at wave hands like clouds. You'd understand so much. Okay, let's stop for a very short water break. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go through the first third of the 24th step. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll demonstrate. I think we've got... It's a bit dicey, the room. I'll have to start over here, I think. Oh, gosh. So we... Oh. We're doing that. We're going from the beginning, and then we're going to the end of step back and repulse the monkey. I might need to, because I've got less space than usual, 
because uh, I didn't think it through to move the sofa with the toy things underneath. I'll try and do that for the next class, but let's just go through, um, and I'm mirroring, I'm mirroring. So you move with your left. This is my right, you move with your left. Uh, yeah, the TP's in the way. Okay, breathe in. Breathe out and begin. So now we've got our bodies in a nice, nice uh, condition. We can we can now do the form, and it feels better. It's worth doing all the character building stuff just to get gather under, hold the ball, and then we step. Part the wild horses may. If you haven't done the first third of the form yet, just jam along. You'll be fine, and you can always watch this in the. Um, oh, actually, I've got a little bit of a path here. Part the wild horses may. Final part the wild horse is made. Now I'm going to face you, but when you're doing this last bit, you're facing that wall. Face that wall, and then I'm just showing you so you know what to do. Side step, gra uh, grass with sparrow's tail, white crane spreads its wings. So you, we did this a few weeks ago on Monday in uh, uh, Barton. We did the white crane. Now bring the hand down like this, hold the um, ball to the hip, brush knee and push. Sink back. Whoops. Brush me and push. I've got the table in the way. Oh, it's like it's like an assault course. <laughs> Brush knee and push. I go a little bit forward. Now raise the, the heel. Spear hand. Cut down. Play the pee part. I'll come a bit closer. So they've got rooster stance. Rooster stance. And the hands is like this. Hands is like this. Very good. Step back and repulse the monkey. Turn the heel. Turn ball of the foot. Step back and away. Repulse the monkey. I'm going to run out of room. I'll just do this. Turn. Turn. Step. Push. Turn. Turn. Step. Push. And then once more with feeling. Turn. Turn. Step. Push. Ooh. Didn't we do well? Fantastic! That was great! <laughs> We're getting better! <laughs> it's amazing! Yes, yeah, so, um, yeah, when, when you get... Enjoy it while you, enjoy it while you can! <laughs> okay! Oh, uh, uh, God! Okay, sink back and turn... Oh, we just turn it away. Beautiful, look at that! Ooh, super smooth! Super smooth, very nice! Yes! Fantastic. Okay, triple heater, and then we'd better. Um, I think we've all learnt our tea, haven't we? So let's go and have a really nice cup of tea, or coffee, or chocolate, or biscuit, or whatever. Brilliant. Yeah, eat some more of those amazing biscuits your mum makes. And then <laughs> one and down. Two forward. Back. So. Notice what you're doing when you're doing this. Keep the maintain the focus right to the end. So we go a little way, so balancing the triple heater. San Jao in dreadful Mandarin. Apologies to anyone who speaks the beautiful language of Mandarin. I will try and improve my pronunciation <laughs> this year. Okay. Oh, that's lovely. One more time. Beautiful. Really good, everyone. Embrace the tiger, return to the mountain. Yeah. Oh, well, that's handy having that there, actually. I might leave it there. Because <laughs> I can put my glasses there. And then... Polish the face. And then with a bounce, rub the back, relax the shoulders, check the posture. Oh, oh that's nice. And then um, embrace the tiger. So really allow yourselves to settle. Solid. So if someone was to run at you, they'd just fly off because you're so correct in your posture. Yeah. 
Okay, here we go. One last movement. Two. And three. So yeah, I've been I've been beaten at hopping and ludo by eight year olds. It's really embarrassing. Let's do one more. <laughs> so yeah. Hopping. There we go. So we're nice and tall. And just stand, really own your space. Really sink into your feet. Sink into the feet. That's it. Very good, make a fist with the right hand, left hand over the top, bring your feet together. Bow. Wow, well that was epic, wasn't it? Excellent. Well done everybody, that was great. Um, I'll, I'll stop the recording and then I will take some questions and I'll change the, the camera thingy because my, my head's vanished. Ah, hello. Okay, well done everybody, uh, I stopped the recording. Thanks to anyone watching at home on YouTube. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Well done. <laughs>